experts? No. About they the life. Yeah, yeah. No. It, we just interacted with it naturally right. as we walked through the world. And so it, right, we were schooled. And so I, I cut hmm. I didn't get into that at the end as much as I wanted to, but that's what I was trying to connect with prayer. It's about <laughs> us becoming acquainted yeah. with eternal life, with the spirit of life, with what it is, with what yeah. it's contained in, with what it does, mm -hmm. right? With how it manifests itself, what it all those different kinds of things. And so part of prayer is just being intimate with that, right? right? Having yeah. some interaction with that, with God, right? Just like we interact with this world when we wake up and move around and then we, we come to a certain understanding that dwells in us. It's not an understanding in the sense where we knew we were learning. It's just something that, it's almost like osmosis, where it just starts to dwell in us. And mm -hmm. then we start living and moving and having our being according to that, right? And yep. so it's just like, for me, what I've noticed is that a big part of my prayer time now is just, and I even hate to say it that way, but it just, I will say it that way, but revolves around me just talking with God about eternal life. Right, like at the men's retreat, I went and walked on the beach. And before I could even know what I was doing, I was talking with God about when they created water and how they brought forth water out of dryness. And how is it that you can bring forth water out of dryness? Right. And how is it that that could happen? How can you bring forth light in the midst of darkness? How can you bring forth order out of chaos? And so I was just talking with God about creation. Next thing I know, we're like way off into a, a deep conversation about eternal life and what it does to the degree that I'm all about to walk into people on the beach because I'm like daydreaming about it. I didn't know that's what I was doing. I didn't set about to try and start doing that. It's just I was walking on the beach. I saw the water. I'm by myself. And so I just started thinking of, wow, and you made water. You just started talking about that. It's like next thing I know, I'm thinking about eternal life and how eternal life, you know, <laughs> saturates the dry places and just all kinds of things. And Man, if we could just get our hearts, I don't even want to say get our hearts, but if our hearts could just be wrapped around what it means that we possess eternal life. Man, we'd, we'd walk in this world with a lot more strength and boldness. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's interesting.